Play. Ah. What can I say? The shovels. <laughs> These birds are notoriously small and shy. Luckily, there's one person who can help. Local photographer, Mark Eatwell. <laughs> nice to meet you. you too. With his camera, Mark has captured something remarkable. So, how are we going to find them then? I usually whistle for them. You whistle for yeah. them? Yeah, I whistle for them. So, a long time ago when I first met him, a little bluebird landed next to me, which seemed to be pretty special. I'd never seen this type of wren before. Well, I've never seen a bluebird before. And he went <whistles> like that. So I just try to imitate what they do. <laughs> we'll go down there and see if we can find the Fonzo family, eh? Fonzo. <laughs> Fingers crossed. So how many birds are in Fonzo's family? Four. Four. Three males. And Three males. One female. Oh, obviously. Duh. So we're gonna get a lot of blue. <laughs> yeah, well I hope so. <laughs> there you there go. go. There you go. They're here, guys. <gasps> oh, <wow>. Two <laughs> <laughs> Hello, honeys. Okay, this is the Hi. youngest of the blue fairy wrens here. Hey guys. So if you look you can see that the feathers just on like the top of his wing are a little bit brown, whereas the bird behind him hey, is much bluer and crispier mm -hmm. along the edges of yeah. where the mark yeah. should yeah. be. Here we go, here's the third one. Oh, hello. Here's the oldest. I mean, this isn't normal, right? This is a very special relationship. You know, when I look for fairy runs, it's a lot more hunting, so this is fantastic. Yeah. Each year, the males replace their winter feathers with bright blue ones in an incredible transformation. The question is, why? So is the female then only, does she only have eyes for the blue fella in uh -huh. her group? Or is it like she's looking around at all the neighbours as well going, right, who's blue? Uh -huh. Yeah, she's doing that. <laughs> and they do it at dawn when it's dark. We call them reproductively promiscuous. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So the females are interested in who is molting into that bright plumage the earliest, how much blue they have, and often how old they are. That, that is playing a role. It's like someone forgot the rest of the pencils. <laughs> Just every color of blue, there's a little bit yeah. of aquamarine, and like, look at the little, almost like the little feather shorts. Yeah, yep. yeah, still blue. <laughs> Here's the female. Look at her. Oh, who are you? Oh, see how <laughs> wide his face was there. Wow. Yeah, so they have that lighter blue patch on their cheek. It's also got some UV reflectance, which no. we can't see, but the girls can see. When he's doing that, he's pointing her in the direction of, hey, my territory's over there. And it's, <laughs> you know, X meters away, come visit. With these lads about town, I imagine they get more than a few birdie booty calls. The way that these guys reproduce is that they have somewhere between three and four eggs per clutch, and a different male could, in theory, sire each, each different egg. Yeah. yeah. A bit of, like having a bit of art around, you know? Yeah, just a yeah. really pretty. Yeah. Good bloke territory to look for at. one guy, and then you have someone else on the side who's just real, real blue. <laughs> I, could, I could get behind it. <laughs> <laughs> Look, they know what they want. Who knew that turning blue could be so sexy? I can't believe you delivered uh, on yeah, fairy right. rings. I can't cool. believe they stayed around for so long. <laughs> well, look, there's one here <laughs> as we're leaving. Saying goodbye. Are you saying goodbye. <laughs> I tell you what. Splendid fairy wrens, it's all about the males being amazing, looking amazing, sounding amazing, and the females choosing which one they want. And I have to say, it's an impressive amount of game for such a little thing. <laughs>